Vegetable pest insect, aphids or green fly in common name can be recognized most easily by looking for two tail pipes or conicles at the end of the body. There are conicles on all aphids but some have smaller, less noticeable swans. As they develop, aphids lose their exoskeleton or skin. These skins with a white cast can be absorbed on plants or embedded in aphids honeydew secretion. Aphids is under the order uh, Hemiptera. Sign of infestation caused by aphids on chili plants. Twisted and colored leaves, yellow leaves, stunted or dead shoots. Method control for aphids. Integrated Pest Management IPM Integrated Pest Management IPM can provide effective control of aphid populations. Aphids have many predators including ladybird beetles, lace wings, hoverflies, and parasitic warps. The parasitic warps, Aphidus colomani, effectively control aphids and is commercially available. Cultural method Protect the crop by using virus-resistant varieties. Use highly effective mulches and oil sprays to deter aphids from landing and feeding. Use tall barrier crops, wine breaks, and bare land to reduce the numbers of aphids entering the crop and use row covers to protect plants until flowering. Chemical method Appropriate insecticides are usually effective in killing aphids breeding on plants and can provide good control of viruses transmitted in a persistent manner. However, they are usually ineffective for preventing spread of the non-persistent viruses due to the extremely short feeding times of this category of transmissions. Termite is one of urban pest insects. Termites are silent destroyers that could be residing in your property without you noticing. They are responsible for property damage of over 40,000 ringgit bisha every year in Malaysia. There are many types of termites, but the subterranean termites, which are also known as copter termites, should be looked out for. They feed on cellulose-based materials such as wood. They can jeopardize your business and pose danger to your family if the infestation are not handled well. Termite fall under bacteria order. It used to be listed under isoptera order. There are four types of termites. The queen and king which are giving life to the colony. The workers termites act as the doors. The soldiers termites which are the colony's defense. And lastly, the alates, the future of the queens and the kings. These diagrams show the morphology of termites. There is differences between the queen and king the workers termites, the soldier termites, and the alates. There are three common termites in Malaysia. The damp wood termites that can be found on moist plants and wood typically on the outdoors. It is the least concerned type of termites as it don't carry any disease and cause damage on buildings. The dry wood termites that can be found on dry wood and do not rely on water to survive. It normally comes from big wooden furniture and then infest the building. The subterranean termites that are the most destructive termites. It is eating through structures, furniture and roofing. It needs soil to survive. The sign of infestation are termite swarmer or discarded wings, mud cubes on wall, droppings and 
peppery or hollow sounding when you knock on the wood surfaces. Sometimes you can hear rattling sound made by the termites. The method to control termites are baiting system, monitoring solution, and liquid thermoside treatment. For baiting system, baiting solution is used to eliminate termites. It has active ingredient that inhibits termites growth. When the bait is shared and separate, it will gradually affect the colony until it can no longer support itself and collapse. Manufacturing solution is a holistic solution that uses an obstructive monitoring station that are placed discreetly around the premises. Then, routinely monitor these stations for drug mine activity and when detected, bait will be added to the system. The quick termocide treatment is useful for both treating an existing problem or as a repellent so that termites stay away. In conclusion, it is important to control pest infestation during the early stage to reduce losses. It is advised to control methods that are able to eliminate all stages of the pest life cycle. In addition, it is good to alternate the control method used to avoid the pest become resistant. Lastly, different pests have different control methods, hence choose suitable method for the right pest. Thank <music> you.